Okay, folks, I'm Scott Broberg, president of SBR Financial Group. This is a, con a continuation video from where we left off talking about when do we start our Social Security benefits? What's our Social Security benefit start date? And you'll notice we ended up with uh, a picture that looks something like this, which said everybody uh, has a full, what's called a full retirement age, FRA, and if you decide to begin your Social Security benefits prior to re reaching your full retirement age, well, you'll end up getting a reduced amount. So the line starts to go down that way. Age 65, 64, 63, 62, at which point, so if you write at 62, took a benefit, you just have to know you're taking a 25% reduced benefit for the, from the Social Security system. We also noted that on this side of the equation, you can run into income limitations, meaning if you decided to retire at 62 but go back to work, if you make too much money, you may have to um, forego some of your Social Security benefit. On this side of the equation, if you, if you delay past your full retirement age, you have an increase of 8% per year and no income uh, restrictions. Until you get to age 70 where it maxes out, and in this case, $1,320 would have been if we were using a, the hypothetical starting it at $1,000. Now, one of the critical pieces that you're gonna wanna use to to decide, do I take it early, do I take it late? Because you could say, well, look, if I took it at 62, that's eight years of receiving a benefit of having that time that that benefit comes out. And that's absolutely true. But what we want to know is what your life expectancy is. People are living longer these days, and you really want to look at your family history. If everybody in your family, or if you're a male and all the males in your family have died by age 70, then you want to take it as early as possible and get as much money out of that as you can. Now, that's that's a, that's a very um, that doesn't take into take into considerations everything because if you're married, you you may even want to push the limits because it helps your survivor the spousal survivor benefit go up. Um, but that's another consideration you'd have to talk about with your financial planner. But, it, but if everybody in your family dies early or if you're in bad health, then it can be more beneficial to take it early. If your family, everyone lives to age 100, then it can benefit to take longer. And financial planners are um, trained to be able to figure out that what the break-even point is from whatever age you would take it versus if you took it at a delayed time. So this is just something to consider um, when going in to make this, this choice. But I wanna draw one more picture and that's adding in some of the other factors that go into retirement because it's not uh, a simple, I set my goal and then um, when that, when that goal hits, I just automatically pull the trigger and I'm out the door into retirement. Most people don't realize that you're actually going to start lining up all of your the variables. Here's 62 out to 70, 66. Okay. So this is what we do with our clients at SBR Financial Group is as they begin to approach this age, late 50s, early 60s, and they're trying to make th this decision, should I retire now, should I continue to work, what date would be best, is we really wanna um, look at um, uh, lifestyle issues. What kind of standard of living do you wanna maintain monetarily? Because each one of these each year will provide you with a different monetary 
value, okay? So within our retirement income, Social Security is one factor. Social Security, how about that? So as we looked at our example, if you went at 62, 750 per month, if you went here, $1,000 per month, if you went here, 1320 per month, okay, that's just one factor though. What if you have, what, let's say you're a teacher or you work for the government and you have another pension? Well, in each date, you're going to have to ask, what would the pension amount be? And as Social Security is another form of a pension, most pensions, as you delay, if you delay, benefit goes up okay you might have uh, let's see a 401k or an IRA which is an investment right if you start taking at age 62 what can our expected revenue coming out of that um, or yeah expected payment coming out of the the IRA be to you at 62 what can the expected be at 66? What can the expected be at 70? So what we can pro what we provide our clients is we'll go through each date and say, if you retired here, this is what it looked like. If you retire here, this is what it looks like. If you retire here, this is what it looks like. And you do it for each date. And then you compare it to, well, what kind of lifestyle do I want to maintain? Here's one of the reasons I say that. If you so badly just want to get out of work, you start taking your social security, you start taking your pension, and, you, and you're taking whatever you do have available to you. There's going to be a point down the road where the, there's very little chance you can make changes for that. And there's a really nagging feeling of regret that can work its way in if you make the wrong decision. Most people, you'll never hear in retirement say, I regret that we saved too much money. You just don't hear people say, I regret that we have too much monthly income coming in to um, retirement. Most people, it's the opposite. They say, I wish I would have saved more. I wish I would have delayed a little bit longer and had some extra money in our paycheck. So let me show you one reason why, uh, particularly when it comes to our, our investments here, we'll do one more page why it helps us to delay. So let's assume we're going to we're going to look at investments. Okay? So let's assume that you started working at age 20. And you come out here and you want to retire at 62. Okay? So that means you worked for 42 years and then we have to assume that you're going to live long because we, we don't want to under plan so let's assume now that you're going to be in retirement out to 95 which is 33 years that's a long time to be living off of social security of any pensions or investments that you have 33 years So if you were to then decide, you know what, I'm going to delay this. I'm going to move this out and either go to 65, maybe even 70. You notice now we only have 25 years of spending. 30 years of spending. And what happened before that if you continued to work, right? One, continued savings. So you save more of your money. Two, there's an assumption that you have some kind of expected rate of return.
So growth of investments. And as we just talked about with the social security, right? Your benefit would start down here. It would go up to age to whatever your full retirement age and go even higher. So three delay social security. So you, we, we quickly realize on almost every one of our clients that as we show them that if you, if you push it out further delayed, because not only do you have less years that you have to spend, but all of the, all of the areas that you're pulling from have gone up due to you continuing to put money into your 401k or IRA. And because of whatever expected rate of return we're earning, if you went delayed from 62 to 70, that's eight years of expected growth that you would have in uh, your investments. And of course, that then can increase your overall uh, retirement picture. So let's go back here. So we then, for our clients, we can say, okay, given if you wanted to retire here, what would it look like? If you wanted to retire here, what would it look like? If you wanted to retire here, what would it look like? And what you'll notice is if we mapped out these numbers, that it essentially, if this was the overall picture, they their, their retirement spending lifestyle goes up, could go up from 62 to 70 based on all the things we've talked about. So it's really important that as you're, you're approaching this retirement decision, that you're looking at every single year available to you, doing the calculations, that's what you're paying your financial planner for to do that, and then helping you choose the one that really you're not going to be living in regret that you didn't save a little bit more or delay a little bit longer so that your lifestyle could be a little bit better. So if you want to learn more about retirement planning, retirement savings, or social security issues, you can go to our website, sbrfinancialgroup.com. You can also check our other videos um, about retirement uh, it, uh, here in all of our, uh, our video series. Okay, we'll see you next time in the video.